I started doing some work on the Beetle. Uh, it really is in good shape, but I did look at the brakes and the front end turns out needs some work. Um, still in really good shape, but the drums were really bad. I didn't see any point in trying to service the drums. So I'm gonna upgrade to disc brakes. I, uh, I'm not gonna try to do any how-to videos. I, I'm not really qualified to do that. So I'm gonna um, I'll make some videos and, and show you what I'm doing, um, but I'll leave the, the how-to videos up to the experts. So going back to the brakes, I took the drums off. They were pretty beat. Um, J-Bugs, MP makes a disc brake conversion kit. So that involves taking off the um, spindle and the steering knuckle. I figured out how to do all that. So there's the tie rod. It's right down to the trailing arms. I did pick up a Haynes uh, service manual. It looks really good. It's pretty complete and explains a lot um, from my perspective. And um, that'll really help. Uh, I'm gonna take that shock off. The shocks are beat. The shock's off on the other side. But yeah, the car, I've gone through it. Everything looks really good. The, the interior's good. Even, um, I mean, you can see the back. Let me show you the back. That's with the back seat off. It's really clean. For a 58 body, there really isn't a lot of rust. Um, sorry, the light's not really good. Um, upholstery's not perfect, but it's good. And the headliner's not perfect, but it's really good. Um, yeah, motor's good. The wiring. Looks brand new. Um, I mean, there's still some scraps of wire. It looks like that was really going over. Look how clean it is. Even down in here, super clean. Um, so anyhow, yeah, the suspension really needed some attention, but this is with the gas tank off. <clears throat> um, I did pick up a, that is a dual circuit large bore master cylinder. And it's kind of just test fit in there right now there's new bolts um that wasn't that bad brake lines are looking pretty old um uh, i'll probably try to tackle that but and the steering stabilizer uh, looks like it's leaking i'll probably replace that too so i'll show you the other side basically the same except the shocks off on this side <clears throat> the, the tie rod ends look new uh, everything else is really tight. I'm going to actually take the trailing arms off and paint them. Well, I think I can handle that. So anyhow, I, I ordered the spindles. There's a the gas tank. Old brakes. The spindles and steering knuckles. Um, these parts are really beat. Um, you can take this, the steering knuckles apart. This is a kingpin. Pink, kingpin steering knuckle. Um, it's a little involved to take them apart. So I found a machine shop. I ordered the kit. Uh, the kit comes with the new drop spindle, the um, new kingpin bushings, and all that. And I'm gonna let the machine shop do these up. So the new kit, the this kit requires new drop spindles. These are kind of there's no taper on the spindle. I couldn't find, I don't know what's up with these. Uh, they're drop spindles, so they're not stock, but um, anyhow, if I wanted to, to maintain the drop spindles with disc brakes, I, I had to buy a whole new kit. So, so that's where that's at. Um, I told my wife, I've taken a lot of things off. I'm kind of anxious to put some things back on to prove I can do it, but uh, I feel pretty good about <clears throat> Uh, my understanding of all this right now, so not that worried. So I guess that's it. I don't know if I have anything else to to go through here. Um, actually, I did put that's a new part that I put in. So you know what I mean. It's easy to take things off, but um, at some point you got to stop taking things off because I've done that before too. So this is it. I'm, nothing else is coming off. So, here you go. 
Um, I'll keep you posted. Uh, next video will probably just be, well, hopefully it'll be uh, disc brakes on there. And that'll be cool. All right, thanks for watching. If you would like to subscribe, that'd be great. Thank you.